everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jennifer and today we're gonna to be playing with Tom Ford. We're gonna focus on the Tom Ford things that I picked up at Nordstrom during the anniversary sale, the two gift sets, the two new quads, and I'm gonna show you a little sneak peek of something else. So if you're interested in seeing that, just stay tuned. Hey everybody, so you might notice today my hair is looking kinda, yeah. I let it air dry today. <laughs> I just don't know what it's doing. Um, yeah, I'm back from my vacation and, uh, you know, there's so many things to get done, um, that kind of went by the wayside while I was gone. And so I'm just trying to catch up on work and stuff around the house. And so the hair just was like, yeah, it's just going to have to stay air dried. Um, I do want to show you the, uh, hopefully the camera can pick these up. These are the Monica Venator earrings. So you can, hopefully you can see them. I'll, and I'll try to focus in on them, like with the camera. But um, these are rose gold and they have little teeny, teeny, teeny diamonds. And they're like cluster diamonds. And they came in, I believe, white gold and rose gold. So they're like overlays of gold. They're not solid gold. So they're a little bit, you know, more reasonable. But I really like these and I like her line of jewelry simple easy to use they you know goes with like kind of an everyday kind of look they're pretty they're unique but they're not you know over the top don't get me wrong i have a lot of over the top jewelry a lot and i love that type of jewelry but you know for for work days and just running around i think these are great because they're really pretty they're really classic and they're really comfortable so um i was glad i was able to get these because they actually sold out this, so these were the earrings that I mentioned in a couple videos ago that I recommended to all of you. I was like, oh, these are great. You should get these. And then I waited <laughs> too long to get them because uh, I was like, oh, they won't sell out. And they were gone. And I believe it was Gita, uh, my friend here on uh, YouTube, who said, hey, I think they're back. And there was like three pairs or something. So I ran and bought them. So I really love these. I think they're really pretty. And hopefully you were able to pick up some jewelry or something that you really liked from the sale. I'd love to hear uh, what you picked up and uh, especially if it's, um, you know, something that I didn't look at or recommend because I'd love to get ideas for, for next year. So today we're going to focus on Tom Ford. I don't have anything on my face right now. I do want to use, this is the uh, Guerlain uh, watery oil that I use as a primer all the time. If if you're new to my channel, then you don't necessarily know this, but this is the watery oil that I use. I use this as a primer, you know, pretty much, I don't say all the time. I use this or I use the Auric if I'm looking for more of a glowy look, or I'll use the um, Radiant Serum by Chantecaille. I like sort of a glowy look. My skin is generally dry. But Guerlain sent me this. I don't, I'm not exactly sure how they even got my address, but. They sent me this and it's the advanced youth watery oil. So obviously something has changed. It has been reformulated. I did get a little write up about it. I'm going to start using it. We'll see if I notice a distinct difference between this and the former one, but I figured I would start using it on the channel. You guys tell me if you notice any difference. I can say from the texture, I don't notice a difference from the texture, but you know, that doesn't mean, that doesn't mean much. Um, for those of you who are new, my skin goes red when I touch it. Don't, don't panic. It's just, it's just what happens. So, uh, but I just want to mention that cause I'm going to try it out and see if I notice a distinct difference between that and the, the formula before. So Tom Ford today, um, I have four eye quads, technically five, cause I have a little sneak peek Four eye quads, three small little lipsticks, the liquid liner, and the mascara. Tom Ford, for me, is an old-time favorite. I used to be a huge Tom Ford devotee. I loved his quads. I love a lot of his products. Um, but recently, the we've seen a lot of re-promotes. We've seen a lot of similar color stories. Uh, and that has been true even in the, in the sets uh, that were at Nordstrom. But you know, different enough that I felt like, okay, I'll pick them up. The Rose Prisme and the Metallic Denim definitely looked very different. So I picked those up as well. We'll talk about that. We'll get into it. And then I'll have a sneak peek for you guys at the end. 
I'm not going to use them all today. I will use them all throughout the month so you can see them. But, you know, I feel like to really give it its due, I need to put it on and do a full look with it so you can see it. If you have a preference, though, about which one you want to see next after this video, let me know. And what I can do is do a shorter video with it, or maybe even an Instagram story, so that you can see it sooner rather than later. Okay, so the first set is... See if you can, yeah, you can see that. Okay, so this is the Tom Ford set. This has the two little mini lipsticks and the quad. This was the quad Cognac Rose. We had seen some sneak peeks of this. Cognac Rose looks a lot like Honeymoon. I'll show you Honeymoon in a moment. But it is a really pretty it's a really pretty quad. Um, other people have compared it. They've, they've talked about how it's a, it's a, a basically a mashup between Konya, um, Honeymoon and I forgot the other one that's a mashup of. I'm sure I own it. Uh, <laughs> I just can't remember right now what that is. Um, I'm not going to do this quad today, but when I do it, I'll, I'll get the other quads that I, I remember it being a mashup of. And then the shades in your lipstick are Fascinator and Casablanca. Casablanca I've had... I mean, this is an old time favorite. It's a great shade. It's actually, I like these little mini lipsticks. I know a lot of people are like, well, you know, but they're really good for travel, actually. So I like that. Casablanca is the darker shade. Fascinator is the lighter. Good neutrals for somebody who is pale to medium. Casablanca will show up for skin tone. I don't think Fascinator will, but we will, uh, we will see. Okay, so that is the Cognac Rose. And like I said, it looks very similar to um, Honeymoon. So let me pull out Honeymoon really quickly. Again, it's a mashup between Honeymoon and another quad in the moment. I can't remember which quad that is, but it could be New Dip. I can't remember. Um, but when I do the review of this, okay. So I'm gonna hold them like this because the honeymoon just kind of like fell out while I was trying to show you guys. But this is honeymoon and then this is cognac rose. So it's different enough, but I'll make sure when I do the comparison, you can see the uh, other shades that it's kind of a mashup of, because I believe it might be new dip. I just can't think of it right now. All right. So the other set came like this. And in here is the lipstick, I think in Impassioned. Yeah. Now Impassioned is a pretty deep shade. Should work on practically anyone. It's like a brick red shade. On me, it of course looks very deep. Um, with someone with a deeper skin tone. It's a beautiful shade actually. I've thought about buying it in a large um, shade, a large bottle, large bottle, large tube for a long time. And I just never have. So when I saw it in this set, I was like, well, that's perfect. And then lipstick and the liner, let me pull those out. Okay. So this is the extreme mascara. I have the badass mascara. I have the extreme mascara or I've had the extreme mascara. I've actually, um, run out of it because I try not to get too many mascaras at once because these things do go bad and you have to throw them out within six months. And so uh, I try not to have too many open mascaras at once. Then the liner looks like this, if you haven't seen this before. This is actually one of my favorite liners, uh, liquid liners that's out on the market. I haven't tried too many, I will admit, because I'm not a huge liquid liner fan. But the lines you can see are very, very thin. And you've got a thicker, point on one side and a thinner point on the other. They work really well. They stay on very well. This is the thicker side. And um, I think, you know, you'll find that they're really a good liquid liner. I find the Chantecaille ones are great. They don't move. Um, and these are, this one's really, really good. This only comes in black, but it's an excellent liner. Oh, I am um, excited to have this because uh, my old one has dried up and I uh, can't use it anymore. Uh, the shades that came in this one are the, um, the quad is Coquette. 
Coquette seems to be a cooler leaning quad. And I know I have some shades that are similar to this and some other quads, but we can, um, we can check those out. So those are the sets that were available. And then we have what I'm calling the fall. I, I don't know if they actually are, but you know, it would make some sense. Uh, we have metallic denim. which was also referred to as ethereal blue. And we have Rose Prisme, which was pop dust. Now, I don't know why the names are different because the names on the quads are Rose May Prisme, Rose Prisme and um, metallic denim, but that's just the way it is. So, which one are we going to do today? I think, I think I'm going to do the Coquette today because I believe Rose, Rose Prisme and Metallic Denim will stay in stock or at least be available at different places. I saw them pop up in Sephora, so I think they'll be in stock for a little bit longer and you guys can pick them up if you choose to. The Nordstrom sets, I think, are exclusive to Nordstrom. I think they are exclusive to the set. So I don't think they're going to be available on their own. But that could be incorrect. Been incorrect before. So uh, I think there's more urgency. And of the two, I think Coquette is more unique. I think that Cognac Rose is more like Honeymoon and I think it's New Dip. Again, I'm not absolutely sure. So I think you can already have that in your collection. Whereas I think Coquette is... Mm, more unique. So I feel like that's the first one I should do for you guys. That's my rationale. I'd love to hear though in the comments what you'd like to see next, whether it be Cognac Rose, Rose Prisme, or Metallic Denim. Just let me know. You can rank them too if that's, you know, like one, two, and three of what you'd like to see. Uh, I'm going to use the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Foundation today, uh, Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Blush, which yeah, is still not out. I don't know. And, um, We'll use one of the three lipsticks depending on what we think is the best match. Shade and Illuminate uh, Concealer from Tom Ford. Still don't have a date. Working on that. There's new Tom Ford quads coming out, including this one. This is called Naked Pink. Will not be out until, my understanding, later this year for the holidays. But I will give you a sneak peek of it. And hopefully we'll have a review for you guys soon once we get more details about when it's going to be released. The only thing I would say, yeah, in my opinion, it's only going to work on people who have, you know, pale skin, people who are fair. If you're not, I, I, I think you can cross it off your, uh, your planning list for, uh, for the holidays. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and use the Tom Ford I, uh, Shade and Illuminate. I have this in 1.3, which is Nude Ivory. Um, it took me a long time to find my shade. Uh, at first, I wasn't the biggest fan of this foundation. I mean, I've always liked it, but it wasn't like my favorite foundation. And I think the reason it wasn't my favorite foundation is because I couldn't find my shade. And it's, you know, it's hard. It's difficult to match your shade. I actually think Tom Ford in this foundation has a, a decent shade range. It's not bad. So there's a lot of different shades with a lot of different undertones. And, uh, you know, I think it's just difficult to find your shade. <laughs> so sometimes I use a brush. Sometimes I use a sponge. My skin is feeling a little irritated uh, due to my recent trip to Vegas because... Not because of my trip, but I mean, yes, because of my trip, but really because it was really dry out there and it's much more humid here. And I came back and my skin kind of was like, whoa, what's happening? So I'm just, my skin's feeling a little, it's just being a little, yeah, difficult. Um, today I'm going to use my new brush set. This is the Trish McAvoy Power of Makeup brush collection that I picked up during the Nordstrom sale. It may be still available or might pop back in stock. You never know. Um, for the eyes, there is a brush 99 tight eye lining. There's a brush 23 angled crease contour and a brush 66 cream blender. 
We have for the face a pointed foundation brush, a classic foundation brush, a sculpt and blend brush, a fan brush, and then for the lips there is a covered lip brush. So it's a really cute little set of blends um, of, uh, uh, sorry, natural hair and synthetics. And um, there's a little card that comes with it, tells you about each brush, which I think is really, really great. Um, you can read through it. The crease contour brush looks really cool. Um, the cream blender, I have actually have that brush, but it's a really good brush. And so I was like excited to get another one. This is what it looks like. And it works really well for any kind of creams that you have, whether you're gonna use concealer under the eyes or around the nose or whatever. This is a great, great brush. I have not tried the foundation brushes. I will. Um, like I said, today was just not, a, I just felt like I would be unfair to the brushes because my skin is just being difficult. Um, this is the classic foundation brush. And then we have a pointed foundation brush, which is this one. It's a much bigger brush. Oh, please hold. It's a really, it's a cute brush actually. Like it's a kind of a cool brush. It's short, small brush. Um, that is a uh, pointed foundation brush. And those are exclusive, the foundation brushes are exclusive to this set. Um, then there's a little lip brush in here. This is a little lip brush. We'll use that for lipstick today. Um, we have a fan brush, eyeliner, contour for the eyes, and then um, a sculpt and blend brush. So I think it's a really cute little set. Face is feeling good today. It's not too um, dry or, that's what I'm looking for. Why is my brain not working? <laughs> not too, you know, terrible. Uh, I, it's not working. I'm just gonna let it go. Uh, so I'm using the um, Dior powder in lavender. This is the Le Mer Powder Brush. Big, big, big fluffy brush. Love this brush, great to use. And let's dive in. Okay, so using the Tom Ford brush with the Tom Ford Terra Bronzer. This is a bronzer I've actually hit pan on, which is, you know, saying a lot. Um, a very good friend of mine, Ashley, thank you so much, uh, sent me recently another Tom Ford brush, the original brush that is uh, a natural hair brush, which has been discontinued. I don't know how she found it, but she found one and um, kind enough to get that to me because she knows that I've been on the hunt for a backup. Um, these brushes last, you know, a very long time, but I've had this brush, I can't even tell, I mean, I don't really know how long I've had it. Um, a very long time and so I was really worried that you know eventually because you wash them and you know the hairs do start to come out a little bit and, and I admit what well, I wasn't as careful with this brush as I should have been in the beginning um, sort of the beginning of my brush buying years and I, I didn't realize that you had to be so careful with the bear you know I, anyway so I wanted to have a backup in case um, <laughs> it dies and uh, I didn't realize that it had, you know, they, that Tom Ford had switched to synthetics. So I went to go back to get the, another brush, backup brush, and was told that that brush didn't exist anymore. So Ashley, thank you so much for finding one and for thinking of me and getting it to me. That was incredibly kind. Okay, so let us do some blush here. Um, let's use the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate blush. This isn't Peach Poison. This is the 03. There are six different blushes that will be coming out. I still have been told the beginning of August, but here we are in the beginning of August, and um, I don't have any, I got nothing. I mean, I haven't heard any updates. I don't know what to tell you guys. Um, you know, as soon as I know something, I'll let you know. I just, I don't know anything. So I'm gonna swirl these two together. Uh, if you are interested in these blushes, I do have video. Uh, I do have a video with all three of the ones that I have, and so you can check those out um, to see, you know, which shades that you would like. Um, if you're interested in the three that I have, I don't have the other three, so 
I can only uh, I can only talk about the ones that I have. But the formula is really good. It's uh, I think Tom Ford did a great job with this release. I don't know why they're not released yet because they're they're really good, and uh, I'm impressed with the with the quality of them. So I think it's unfortunate that they haven't come out yet. Maybe they're trying to wait for the holidays. I don't know. Anyway. Um, so I really do think that it's, it's a good quality um, blush. I think you'll really enjoy them whenever they're actually released. Let's do some highlighter here. Let's use the fan brush in the uh, McAvoy set. Um, let's use the Christian Dior. Let's use one of the new highlighters. Uh, let's pick... Let's use the Pink Glow. The Pink Glow is the lightest of the three shades. Again, I do have these up as well, a video of these. Um, it's a very light pink. I love the Coral Glow. The Coral Glow is beautiful, but since I have a deeper blush on today, I think um, the Pink Glow will be fine. Uh, I don't tend to do a super uh, highlight. Like I kind of do a, a more subtle highlight. A lot of times I'll put the uh, highlight on first, but today I wanted to show you, for those of you, I know I have some new viewers. Um, thanks so much to Morgan, uh, Morgan Turner, who gave me a shout out on our channel, which was totally unexpected and incredibly kind. And uh, you might not have seen the reviews that I did of the uh, Dior uh, Luminizer, so I just wanted to and the, and the Tom Ford blushes, so I wanted to make sure I did those today for you guys. Okay, so that's the, the face look. Um, I think, for me, I often blend um, because I just, I feel like I like it a little bit better. So I usually take like the Sonia G Face One or something like that. I usually put nothing on the brush and just kind of blend it in. If I put the highlighter on first, uh, I'm less likely to blend, but you know, it just kind of depends on my mood. You know, we're all a little bit like, you know, this works today, this works, you know, it doesn't work today, whatever. So let's swatch the uh, Coquette. I'm sure you've seen, if you've come over from Morgan's channel, you've seen her do it. There's there's lots of people who have done this. Quad. It's very pretty from what I've seen on other people. But, you know, what I would say to everyone, and I think we all know this, you know, you see something on one person and it looks great and then you wear it and you're like, well, that did not turn out well for me. Um, just because it works on, on one person doesn't mean it's going to work on you. And that's not a failure of the product necessarily. It could just be that that person's skin tone or skin type works for the product and yours doesn't. Um, you know, there's been a lot of things that I've seen on people where I thought it was stunning and then I tried it and I was like, I am doing something wrong. <laughs> So, you know, don't get disappointed if something doesn't really work for you because not all products are, you know, made for everyone. Um, that's okay. But, you know, I, I, I do like a product that can work for a lot of people, especially luxury items because these are very high priced items and if it only works for a small subset of people, that can be very disappointing. So there is the quad. It is a light cool quad. There's not a lot of pigment there. I feel like it's going to be similar to some of the other, maybe the Rose Prisme, maybe the Naked Pink, although the Naked Pink is definitely, like, very light. Um, but this one looks well, pretty light to me, but let's try it. We'll see what we think. And, um, you know, we don't judge it too soon because maybe it'll be deeper on the eye than I think it is. Okay, let's go in with, let's try these, um, Let's try this uh, Tom, I'm sorry, Trish McAvoy brush. This is the Petite Angled Crease Contour. I think it's an interesting kind of brush. And let's try that with the deepest shade here. See how that works. So if I've timed this right, this will go up. I'm just like edging it on the edge there. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Um, this will go up. This video will go up on Friday and I believe the Nordstrom sale ends on Sunday so you know we'll see if this quad and 
the earrings that I'm wearing, um, you know, did that. They were out of stock and then they were in stock um, for like, you know, five seconds and then they were gone. So, you know, I don't know about these Tom Ford. They seem to be in stock right now as I film. So hopefully by the time this goes up, they're still there. So I'm just kind of edging this into the, the crease contour area of my eye. You could put this down all over the eye and make for a deeper uh, look overall. Like if you wanted more of a smoky look, you could absolutely use this. And in fact, I will edge, I will use this on the lower lash line to smoke this out a little bit. Okay, so I think that shade is actually pretty pigmented. Um, we'll blend it. This is a Wayne Goss 03 brush, one of my favorite brushes for buffing out a shade. It's a nice brown shade. Is it revolutionary? No, but it blended well. It's a nice, it's a nice good contour shade. I like it. Okay, so let's take, and I don't really have a brush from the Trish McAvoy set for this, so we'll just use one of my many, many brushes. Okay, yes, let's use a Sonia G Worker One brush, and let's take this, like, this pink shade. It looks like a, I don't know if it's, it's not really a satin, but it's not even, I think it's a matte, but it has some, I don't know, it has a little bit of depth to it that, that, I don't normally see in a matte, let's see. Yeah, you can see, like it's a matte shade, but it has, it's not, it's not a flat matte, is the best way to describe it. It is very powdery. Let's blend it into that. You can see it's a light look so far. You know, it's not, it's not gonna be an overly pigmented palette. I think the metallic denim is. I've seen it on some other folks and it does look like it has more um, opacity. Okay, let me bring you in a little bit closer so you can see the eye look a little better. Okay, that's better, you guys can see. So the two shades I have on now, I have this shade, which is basically a matte, I believe, and this shade here. This is the contour shade that's you know in the crease, crease aid, and this is the one that I just put all over the eye. So let's take this shade here, I'm gonna use my finger and I'm gonna like pop this on top. It looks to me like a very sparkly, topper-like shade. Yeah, I mean, that, that works. I use my finger for these types of shades in general. I think you get the most um, impact by doing that. You don't have to, you can certainly use a brush but if you use a brush, make sure it's a dense brush because otherwise you're not gonna see much from that. It's just gonna kinda dissipate on you. All right, let's take the other shade, the shade here, use that as an inner corner. Let's see how that works. There's not much from that. Um, there's some, but it's, you know, you can build it. But it's not like super highlighty or anything. And in fact, I'll take a little bit of that and see if I can like pop it like right on the middle and see if it does. Yeah, I mean, it lightens it a little, like it gives some emphasis to the, the middle of the eye. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in with a, um, this is a Chanel brush, actually. It's an eyeshadow brush, but it's a domed crease brush. This is the kind of brush you wanna use when you wanna be more specific and targeted with a shade. I'm gonna use that dark um, shade, the browner shade. It's, got, it's brown, but it has like, you know, purple, a cool undertone. And let's try to deepen this up a little. Yeah, so you can make it a more intense look using that shade with the others. If you don't use this shade though, it's gonna be very light. Not That's not necessarily bad, but I always like to see, can you you know turn it into a more evening look or a smokier look if you um, use one or two of the shades. I'll clean up the outer edge, but I'm just trying to get it. Um, 
a deeper look here and I'll tie that into the um, bottom lashes. Yeah, okay, that's good. So let me buff this out. I know it always looks scary at first because you're like, well, that's too much, but I promise you, when you start tying it into the bottom, it'll actually, it'll come together. Um, okay, so let me clean up this outer eye just a little bit. Okay, that's good. All I do is I take like the damp sponge and just sponge around here. If it's like, if I want more of a cut look, I'll take a concealer and I'll use something like this Trish McAvoy brush and like literally cut it with concealer. You can just literally go like this and then pat it in and you have a very clean line. Or of course you could um, use tape, eye tape, or you could just do your eyes first. I'm from the old school. I learned, I guess not really learned. I started playing around with makeup when I was very young and then I worked for Chanel a long time ago and whatever. But when I started doing makeup, you just, I don't know, for whatever reason, you did the complexion first. And maybe because I wanted to get the complexion down to figure out what kind of eye look I wanted to do. I don't know, but I don't know if that was it or not. But it's, I think it's just, you know, frankly, it's what I know. It's just, I mean, that's what I've always done. So I keep doing it. I have tried to do my eyes first and it always feels weird to me. So I don't know what to tell you. Uh, but I do know that easier to clean up when you don't have any other makeup on your face. That is absolutely true. So let's take the deeper shade again. I'm taking a refer brush. This is a 03 brush. Great for, um, you know, going along lash lines. And I'm going to keep this a little bit uh, thicker than I usually do to show you what I mean, how I can like make this a more dramatic look. See the two eyes? And all I did was go along the lower lash line with that deeper shade. Now we have to balance it out, but I'm gonna use the liquid liner on top. So that's what I mean. You can, this quad, I, I do think is a lighter quad. I don't think most of the shades are very pigmented in, in here. But because there's that deep shade in here, I think you can make it a very light look, a daytime look, or you can intensify it, which is nice. Okay, so let's take the liquid liner on the top line. Um, I want to see how deep, uh, how thick I want to do this. Let's, let's not make it too thick. Let's go with the smaller, um, smaller pen size. Now, I have older lids, so I do tend to hold my eyelid and stretch it a little. I will say, they always tell you that the less you pull on your lid, the better, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do <laughs> to make it work. That looks good, okay. I'll do the same on the other eye. Yeah, the pen is really easy to use. It's really easy to hold got a nice feel to it. So I actually think this is a pretty quote intense look with a relatively light palette because I went over it with that deeper shade, blew it out a little bit further past my um, natural eye towards my brow and used the liquid liner and the darker shade in a thicker way on the lower lash line. So I'm going to curl my lashes and then we'll come back and try out the mascara. Okay, so let's go in with the mascara. Um, I've showed you the wand, but let me show it to you again. This is in black. The name of it is the Extreme Mascara. Just wanna make sure. All right, let's try it out. If you're new to my channel, um, I have, you know, um, decently long eyelashes, not super long by any means. I know a lot of people have longer lashes. I don't generally do false lashes. Uh, in fact, I don't think I've, I, well, I tried false lashes once on the channel. It didn't work out very well. I, I have done false lashes in the past, um, in my younger days, but I, I, I don't do them on the channel because it's just not something that I do in real life, uh, you know, I uh, work full time and it's not something that I do as part of my day. 
So I feel like it would be disingenuous to do it on the channel. So it's not something I do. Uh, do I think I would look better? Or do I think it would look really nice with some false lashes from time to time? Yeah, probably. But I don't have the patience or the inclination really to do that. So I just tend to look for a really good mascara that maximizes my lashes as much as I can. Um, as I've gotten older, my lashes have gotten, uh, I don't know if they're thinner. Um, they're, they're definitely not as voluminous as they were when I was young, but I, uh, I use the Chantecaille Longest Lash Mascara, and that actually has helped them uh, grow stronger as I've used it. So I rely on that kind of as a, that's my peptides that I use on my lashes. It's not something that will, you know, work overnight. It does take time, but if you use them continue, if you use that mascara continuously, it will help with your lashes, or at least it has with mine. That's been my experience. I don't use like lash serum or anything like that. I've heard, I've heard some good stories, and then I've heard other stories. So I just, you know, I've stayed away from it. But I have, I feel like my lashes are long enough that I can make a dramatic look without, you know, relying on false lashes, uh, for the most part. That's not to say that I'd be upset if they wanted to just suddenly grow a little longer. That'd be all right. Okay, so that's the top lashes. As I've said, this mascara is a good mascara. I like it. Um, but I like the uh, Badass Mascara more in this formula. I don't love the wand in the Badass because I tend to poke myself with it. But I do think it, it actually accentuates my lashes more than this one does. I think this one looks good. I just don't think it looks great. It's not my favorite. My favorite mascara right now is the Bite upswing mascara but I think this one's good so so it's so funny how hair can like just make a huge difference in the look it just you know because my hair is um, an auburn shade it and my face my face is very pale it can actually it makes my eyes and this particular look I think look even more dramatic um, you know against my hair because my hair is deeper and my skin is paler so I think it actually accentuates the fact that this is a more uh, intense look on my eyes I think that this quad is a very pretty quad. It's not my favorite Tom Ford, um, not my favorite, you know, it's more of a powdery one. It's not that like, you know, uh, creamier formula. I, um, I like it though. I think it's very pretty. I just think that the two shades that are like toppers aren't that different from one another. And the two mattes are pretty and they actually blend beautifully, but I don't think there's a tremendous amount of difference there. So it's gonna, it's, I don't think you're gonna get a lot of different looks out of it, but what I would say is if you go heavier with the, the cool toned brown, you get more of this intense look, whereas you don't do a lot with that shade, you're gonna get a very light ethereal look. So that's kind of nice because there's some versatility there, but I don't think it's like, I don't think it's gonna be my favorite quad. I think it's pretty though. Uh, okay, so in regards to lips, uh, I think today we might want to do something a little brighter on the lips because, I mean, yes, this is an intense look, but it's really just that brown that's intense. Oh, I think the Fascinator, I think that's just too pale for this. Yeah, Fascinator is too pale for this. So it's between Casablanca and Impassioned. You know what? Let's just do the Impassioned. Why not? I mean... If it looks too red, so what? Um, let me get a lip liner. Here we go. Let's use the Extort. Now, this is a deep brown shade, so I'm gonna go in light with it. So I'm very light with the Extort liner, and I'll show you why. This is a brown liner. It's actually one of my favorite shades and I really enjoy it, 
but I don't want to get too much brown into this look because I want to show you what impassioned really looks like on the lips. And if I have too much of that brown undertone, you're not going to, you're not going to really get to see it. So let's try it out. I forgot I was going to use the um, Trish McAvoy lip pencil. So we'll use that for the lower. <laughs> we'll use that for the lower lip. As I was putting it on, I'm like, wait a minute. I don't usually use a lip brush. It does give you more control, but I don't usually have the patience for it. There we go, guys. What do you think? I think it was the, it was the right choice. I think it's the right combination. I think it's a more intense, more, you know, evening look, more dramatic look, but I really like it. And in fact, I like the eye quad more now that I have this lip on because I feel like it's a good balance. Yes, it's, you know, a little bit smokier because we've, we've intensified that um, cool tone brown in it, but it's also light on the eye the rest of the eye is rather light. So the intensity of the lip, I think balances it well. I'm not one of those people who does a really intense eye and a really intense lip. That's just not really my thing. I kind of like to have like a more neutral eye and a red lip or a nude lip and a more intense eye. That's, you know, like I kind of like that balance. So I actually think this works well. My hair would just stop being, you know, whatever that, whatever that is. I'm like, okay. It's just going to do that because that's what it wants to do. Anyway, so what do you guys think? To get my hair under control. Okay, guys, what do you think? I think it looks nice, actually. I think the um, Impassioned is a really pretty shade. I'm glad that it came in the small size so I could try it. Like I said, I had thought about buying the large size for, for some time. I'm not really a red lipstick wearer, though, so this will be, this will be good for me. Um... The quad, I think, is pretty. I just think there's not, I, I don't think there's a lot of there there. It just seems to me that that cool brown shade is really pretty and, and it, you know, intensified really nicely. I think the matte pink, peachy pink, um, I think it went on really nicely and it blended, but there's not a lot of pigment. Um, and then these two topper shades, I don't see much difference between them. On my arm, I see a difference, but on my eye, you know, it didn't do that much. It's pretty, but it's not that much. Again, I think I achieved a nice look with it. I think it's a nice, you know, subtle look without the deeper brown and then it can intensify with the brown, but I feel like I have a lot of that, you know, already in my collection. I don't know. We'll have to play around with it a little bit more, but my first impression is that it's a good quad, not one of the great ones. So, I mean, that's okay. The uh, liner is a great liner. I really like that. If you like liquid liners, this is this is a really good liner. Mascara, again, is good. It's not my favorite, um, but it's a good mascara. I'm loving the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Blush. I don't know why it's not out yet. As soon as I hear anything, I will let you all know. Um, and, uh, yeah, I don't know what to say about that one. But I think it looks good. I don't really notice a difference with the Guerlain Watery Oil yet. This is the advanced one. Looks the same on my skin, but, you know. I think that's something I'm going to have to use over a couple of days, maybe weeks, to really get a feel for. And I love these earrings. Um, am I missing anything? Oh, the brushes, the, the Trish McAvoy brushes. Yeah, so far so good. I like the fan brush. That worked really well. The concealer brush is one of my favorites, and the eye brush worked like it did. It's supposed to. The lip brush worked like it's supposed to. Um, I'll keep trying them out so you guys can um, hear my thoughts. And um, if you could let me know, you know, in the comments what uh, sequence you'd like to see the other Tom Ford quads in, Rose Prisme, Metallic Denim, and Cognac Rose, let me know which one you'd like to see first. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really do appreciate it. Hope to see you in another video really soon.